Coach, what is the first couple of days just being back? What's it, what's it, first of all, what's it been like in practice and kind of the energy? Oh, it's been exciting. The kids are playing with a lot of enthusiasm, uh, they're getting after it. Uh, you know, everybody, offense, defense, special teams. But, you know, for the for the offense, the quarterbacks have been playing real well, uh, making good decisions. Uh, Malik is uh, playing extremely well, a lot of confidence, so we're happy with that. Uh, Puma and Evan are getting better every single day. They had a good first day. Today was uh, not as good as the first day for them, but they did some good things, things we've got to work on and get better with. And then T. Webb is used to be a freshman, and you can imagine just first time out there going full speed, just trying to catch up with what we're doing. But he's going to be fine. He's got a lot of talent. He's doing some good things out there. But, again, as soon as, soon as he learns the offense, he'll be a lot better. Malik said, or Kale said yesterday, during January they spent – Quarterbacks and receivers spent two or three times, you know, a week together. How did they impress you during that offseason? I guess on the fourth, I think, and what they accomplished. Well, they understand that in order to, for us to achieve our goals and, and win the championship, not the championship, and, and be a good football team, be consistent, that they're going to have to do extra work. So they understand that timing is crucial with our, you know, our passing game. And, you know, the guys have really taken leadership, ownership of the team. So they're doing a lot of things that is necessary for a, for a team to be a champion. And they're doing those things. And you know, it, it hats off to our quarterbacks that are leading the way. Our receivers are going out there working hard with our tight ends and running backs. And everybody's, everybody's working. So we've been very impressed. Because you can see right now, first practice, second practice, it's almost like this. We're, we just came out of a bowl week preparation. So it's uh, happy to see that. In the quarterback room, you've got some youth, experience, a lot of talent. What's it like having so many, so many different minds and people in the room? It's always good because when you have guys with experience, you know, obviously Malik, Pumar, older guys, and you know, even Kyle, he's been here one year, but he's a very young, bright young man, so he understands the offense. So those guys help each other out a lot. Uh, they're helping our, you know, help our walk-ons. We help Will, uh, help T, just got here. Uh, so he understands now a little bit more because of the tutoring of Evan. And, and you know, obviously our, our graduate assistant, Curtis Fitch, is doing a great job with T. Webb as well. So it's showing him the offense. I mean, Curtis knows the offense that, you know, from Matt State days, and so he understands what we're trying to do. So when you have guys that can help, that, that are about helping each other in the football team, then you're going to have a successful team. What's the next step for Cunningham? Coming off of the year, and had a great bowl game, obviously. What do you want to see in spring for him to improve in maybe in, in, in skill-wise or, or is it mental? No, I, the biggest thing we would talk about, and, and we kind of narrow things down for each individual, I think for him, is the leadership role, being a little bit more vocal. He leads by example, which is great. You know, we, we love that. Uh, the second thing is having more poise in the pocket, understanding that you can, there's times we're going to have to sit back here and deliver the ball and not think about running. So, And you saw the improvement throughout the year towards the half of the other, the second half of the season that he was doing it, and now he's improving that, extending that, and getting better at it every single day in spring. So those are the things that we'd like to see him get better at, and he understands that. He wants to do it, so he's going to get better with it. How much from, and obviously you can't compare from last year, because day one, was everybody was new, but when, the way he was throwing in the spring ball until now, the accuracy, how much did he really improve throughout the season? Oh, not in day. Not in day. He's, he's making some nice throws out there. And uh, we're, we're excited just because of the fact that he gives us another dimension now. Um, when you're able to run the ball like he does and be able to do, run our offense in the run game and triple option scheme, and, but then be able to still drop back and throw the football down the field with accuracy and complete it to our guys who are running wide open, that makes our offense that much more potent. Does that accuracy just come from grabs or confidence? Does that come from? It, it has to do a little bit of both. You know, and, and when you're when you practice a lot and you rep things a lot, you know, with drills and throwing routes on there to our receivers, and that builds confidence. And once he gets that confidence, he's playing a lot of confidence right now. So he's having fun out there, and he's just uh, he's running the offense really well. I'm not sure surprise is the right word, but from where he was to where he came by the end of the season, did it surprise you guys at all? I mean, you were with him every day, but you know where he started. You know? Yeah, and, and you know when you say. A little bit of surprise because they happened from one day to another. Yeah, it clicked on yeah. It clicked for him. And so we were happy with that. So I said, you know, you don't expect it to happen that fast. It took a little work in there and a couple of, um, you know, hard-learned lessons. But it, it happened from one day to another. And actually, it happened in the half. Um, so if you recall the NC State game, the half, that's, that's when it happened. It clicked on him. And right from there, he just started playing with a lot of confidence making a lot of good plays from the pocket, outside the pocket, running the football. 
and he's uh, again playing with a lot of confidence, and we're excited about what he brings to the table. He was obviously got to shake off some runs, but what do you expect from him during this spring? Boy, I, the biggest thing is don't get frustrated. You know, he had to sit out pretty much a whole year, and it's just getting back into it now. So I told him, I said, listen, it's going to come. You got to, you got to be patient with this, and it come a little bit faster now because you understand the scheme of things. So be patient. Don't try to force things. Don't try to, try to do too much. Don't try too hard. It's going to come to you. The game will come to you. I know you know what you're doing. You know you know what you're doing. Just let it come to you. Don't try to force too much. In an era where so many people transfer in this situation that Juwan is in, how important is he, even if he's not the starter, but just to the dynamic of that group? Uh, every, every single one of them is extremely important. And I know with all the stuff that goes on now in college football, you know, man, we're not concerned with that. You know, we try to – Love our guys and, and help it, every single one of them and make sure they all get reps and have the, the opportunity to compete, which is what they're doing right now. So, but it's extremely important because you, you want to have that room. That room is close. Uh, they're, they're, they're like brothers in there. They're always together. They do things together. And at the end of the day, you compete against each other, but they're still a team. They're still a family. You know? So they do a good job there. I know it's so early in the spring. You mentioned you want to make be more vocal. Have you seen him try to put that effort in to be a more vocal leader? Absolutely. He's, he's a little by little, he's getting better every single day with that. Um, you know, baby steps, but he's doing it. And you know, the offensive line, uh, everyone else is responding to it. And just with his energy that he brings, you can tell the guys play, uh, playing with confidence as well. You know, so, and the other guys are earning that as well. They're trust. Evan got thrown in the fire a couple times uh, as a young kid. Um, how much did that help with his confidence? And do you see a difference in him going into the spring? Absolutely, it helped tremendously. Again, anytime a young man goes out there, a player goes out there and has a little bit of success or a lot of success, he's going to build confidence. There's some certain things that he did last year that were really good and some that were not that good that we're trying to improve now in the spring. And those are the things that for him, that he's working on to get better here now in, in spring ball. And he's been doing it the last two days, the last two practices, uh, including I mean, he just came from practice now and he showed that with getting a little bit better today. And then obviously we'll get better every single time. But it's, it's an extremely important for those guys to have confidence and have some success. And then and, you know, it, it just helps them to get better. You never, know, you never know what you're going to get from a newcomer. You know, maybe the deer in the headlights. What have you seen from T since he's been on campus? Yeah. Well, I've seen a lot of um, wide eyes. You know, so he's getting better. He's understanding. Uh, he, he's done some great things out there, some great throws. But he's, uh, he's trying a little too hard on it. Same thing we just told them, you know, with, with Puma, I said, son, it's going to come to you, okay? Don't try to do too much. Just understand what you're doing. Take one step at a time, one progression, one read at a time, and you're going to be fine. Because he's got the tools. He's got a great arm. He's an extremely bright young man, and we're excited about him. He's going to have a great future. Because right now, it's going a little bit fast for him, kind of like it did for Evan last uh, spring. But it's going to slow down pretty quick because he understands. Well, Coach Satterfield talked about it a little bit on signing day, but the fact that he committed and then wanted to come to camp and throw with you and watch it and all that, what did that tell you about him as a competitor? Because that doesn't happen a lot nowadays. Well, I excited you're exactly right. Hey, well, the kid has a lot of integrity. And he's got a lot of character. And that being a quarterback, I mean, that goes a long way for us. I mean, you know, he's a man of his word, kept his word throughout all the situations. He stayed committed to us, he never deviated from it, never flinched. I and mean, here he is. So. We're proud and happy with him, and I know that he's going to be a good football player for us. There's no question about that. Talk about understanding the scheme of things. What's it been like kind of going into year two of the playbook? Uh, it's been a lot easier. You know, just from last year to now, from the first two days, man, gentlemen, I'll tell you what, it was tough. Uh, just trying to get them to understand the basics of what we're trying to do. But now, it's like I said, it's been an extension of from bowl week. I mean, it just the kids just – Carry on. It feels like we just practiced both week last week. So the way they're, they're, they're practicing, and, and especially for the quarterback position, because he's coming with that confidence uh, from last year, and he's out there having fun and making a lot of good throws and good reads and making some good plays for us. So, and, and then the other guys are picking that up as well because they know they got to keep up with it. And, and everyone around the guys, uh, the quarterbacks, and Malik in, in particular, is. Uh, they're playing at, at, at a fast pace. All right. Thank, awesome. you, Thank you, guys. Thanks, Coach. Coach.